Welcome back with another amazing video for you guys. If you have been carrying a sidearm for any reasonable amount of time, you likely have a shoebox or desk drawer with a dozen plus holsters inside. There is no magically perfect holster for carrying outside the waistband, OWB, or inside the waistband, IWB, to muddy the waters even further. If you've asked 10 friends what holster you should buy, you will likely get 10 conflicting opinions as well. If you're a bigger guy, finding a concealed carry holster can be a pain. I'm carrying around a few extra pounds myself, especially since lockdown. So this is something I can speak with some experience on. Today, we're going to talk about how to choose a holster when you're a bit on the bigger side, including some recommendations that I've tested extensively. We'll also take a long look at what you need to keep in mind when choosing a holster for yourself. Let's take a look at the best holsters for fat guides. Consider subscribing if you haven't already to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1. Crossbreed Snapslide OWB Holster My first recommended IWB alternative is the Crossbreed Snapslide OWB Holster. This crossbreed holster is a belt slide holster, my favorite style for concealed carry. The broad design helps hold the holster closer to your body and distributes the weight of your gun and holster across your belt. It also holds the gun higher than many other OWB holsters, making it easier to conceal. This holster would be easy to hide with a jacket or untucked shirt, mainly since it's designed to be worn behind the hip on your strong side. The 1.75 inch belt slots work best with 1.25 or 1.5 inches belts. While this holster works really well, like any other holster, it has its drawbacks. First off, it needs a label to say what gun it fits. If you're like me, you probably own multiple handguns and have at least one holster for each. If you get more than one, snap slide, you'll have to hold the gun up to each to figure out which one fits. While this may be a rather minor inconvenience in the grand scheme, a label would be a nice touch, especially since Crossbreed Hand makes every one of its holsters. Also, the can is not adjustable from its preset factory 15 degree angle. Most shooters will likely find this angle comfortable and perfectly fine, but it's nice to have customization options. Those complaints aside, at $41 you can't beat the price for such a well-made holster. Number 2. Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.5 IWB Holster My next holster recommendation is the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.5 IWB Holster. One of the main differences between the Cloak Tuck 3.5 IWB holster and the Concealment Express IWB Kydex holster is that the Cloak Tuck 3.5 uses two clips to attach to your waistband, distributing the weight more effectively than a single attachment point holster. If you don't like the clips it comes with, you can switch them out for Alien Gear's C clips, J clips, or O clips. What I like about this holster for larger body types is the flexible back panel. It creates a barrier between your skin and the hard gun, and bends to conform to the shape of your body, making it more comfortable than other Kydex IWB holsters. The back of the panel is covered with neoprene to make the holster even more comfortable and to help your skin breathe underneath. This holster is set up for specific models. The molds aren't an exact replica, so there are multiple firearms that will fit in my holster. However, you will need to select a version that fits your pistol. Another similarity between the two holsters is that you'll have to decide on left or right hand draw when you purchase. After extended daily use of this holster, I highly recommend the Cloak Tuck holster for your everyday carry pistol. If you wish to protect your handbend's finish while providing an adjustable holster that is as comfortable as it is concealable, then this is the platform for you. This is one of the best, if not the best holsters I've ever had the pleasure of purchasing. Number 3. Bravo Concealment Torsion 3.0 Now let's talk about my final IWB holster recommendation, the Bravo Concealment Torsion 3.0. Bravo Concealment is a company that has risen from just another polymer holster manufacturer to one of the leaders in concealment holsters. The Torsion 3.0 is an IWB holster designed to work with appendix and strong side carry. The holster is of course polymer in construction. The 3.0 can function with two clips or a single clip depending on how you are feeling that day. The Torsion 3.0 comes with two clips. The Torsion 3.0 is also designed for the Glock 19, 19X, 45, 23, and 32. The holster will not work with the 80% lower Glocks, so be aware of that. That being said, the SIG is the only non-Glock model the Torsion 3.0 is molded for. However, I'm positive more and more guns will be added over time, like the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck.
The Torsion 3.0 has two belt clips to distribute weight. However, you can also remove one of the belt clips for even more discreet carry. It's even easy to tuck in a shirt around this holster while it's in the single clip configuration too, though you should remember that that makes your gun slower to access. The holster allows for a quick, smooth draw, which is only helped by the adjustable cant and retention. Finally, the Bravo Concealment Torsion 3.0 is very accessory friendly. It accommodates suppressor height sights, and the open front allows for a threaded barrel. It's also low cut enough to provide enough room for a red dot mounted on your slide. Number 4. Concealment Express IWB Kydex Holster My absolute favorite holsters, the Concealment Express IWB Kydex Holster. It's made of 0.08 inch thick Kydex, so it's durable while also being low profile, so it doesn't add even more bulk to your frame. When you have a gut, you'll want to position your holster correctly, especially with an IWB, so it's not pushing uncomfortably into your body. Fortunately, this holster allows for the strong side, cross draw, hip, back, and appendix carry. The adjustable can't help you get a positive grip from these carry locations. I'd opt for wearing the holster, or any waistband holster, for that matter, on your hip or just behind it for accessibility and comfort. Appendix carry, in particular, will not be comfortable if you've got too much extra weight around the middle. I suggest also buying the Concealment Express Holster Claw Kit. It pushes against your belt, forcing the butt of the holster towards your body. This makes the holster even less comfortable in appendix carry though, so I'd skip it if you insist on appendix carry and just let the curve of your belly hide the holster. Whether you use this holster with a claw kit, it has a 1.5 inch fiber reinforced belt clip for attachment. Unfortunately, it requires a belt for stability. Number five, Relentless Tactical, the Defender Leather IWB Holster. Leather is a more comfortable alternative to Kydex for an IWB holster for fat guys. It's softer, so it gives a bit more instead of poking. Regarding leather IWB holsters, my favorite is the Defender Leather IWB holster from Relentless Tactical. It's a classic looking holster made from bull hide and comes in three colors, midnight black, charred oak, and whiskey barrel brown. The leather is soft and smooth, so it feels nice and comfortable. I wouldn't recommend it for appendix carry, but it will feel better than a Kydex holster. There aren't any metal bits beyond the spring steel belt clip, so you don't even have to worry about hardware poking and rubbing. The holster is well made and uses stitching to hold everything together. It's a very durable holster, and it should last you for many, many years. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon so you don't miss out when a new episode comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.